Euronews sat down with the head of NATO to discuss fighting terrorism, defence spending and transatlantic ties under Trump. Secretary General, it would be an occasion to celebrate your new headquarters, but sadly we are talking in the aftermath of another atrocity, this time in Manchester. Uh, isn't it time that NATO joins the coalition against the Islamic State and fight it? NATO will decide today to join uh, the coalition uh, fighting uh, ISIS. Uh, we will do so as part of an uh, action plan uh, where there are many uh, elements. Uh, one of them is joining the coalition, another uh, is to provide more practical support to the coalition with our AWACS surveillance uh, planes, more flying hours and uh, also air-to-air -air, uh, refueling. Uh, we will also establish a new uh, intelligence cell uh, addressing uh, uh, issues related to terrorism, especially foreign fighters. So we are doing a lot uh, when it comes to stepping up our efforts to fight uh, international terrorism. And what about boots on the ground? Is it or is it just symbolic? This is not symbolic. Uh, this is uh, a strong political message of unity in the fight against uh, terrorism and uh, platform for improved practical uh, cooperation and support coordinating the efforts of NATO and the other uh, coalition uh, partners. Uh, uh, NATO is not going into a combat role. Uh, what NATO is doing is, to, uh, is training and capacity building. Uh, you are meeting new American president. What effect is Donald Trump already having on European defense spending? He expects uh, uh, European NATO allies and Canada to deliver on what we decided in 2014. Uh, and I, of course, think that is important, uh, not because uh, it's important to, uh, not only to please the United States, but because it is in Europe's own security interests to invest more in defense when the world has become more uh, dangerous. And that's exactly what we are doing. Uh, because uh, in 2015, we had the first year uh, without any reduction uh, in uh, European defense spending uh, after many years of decline. Uh, in 2016, we saw a significant increase, so European uh, NATO allies have really turned the corner. After many years of decline, uh, defence spending has started to uh, grow again and uh, we are moving in the right direction. Uh, Mr. Trump doesn't mention Russia as a threat. Are you going to convince him about that or are you going to soften your own stance? NATO has a very clear position on Russia, and that is uh, that we need a strong deterrence and dialogue uh, Combined, we, need, we cannot choose between either dialogue with Russia or deterrence and defence. We need both. And there is no contradiction between strong, uh, strong defence uh, and political dialogue. Uh, I met President uh, Trump uh, uh, a few weeks ago in the White House. Uh, he shares and supports uh, the NATO's uh, approach to Russia, defence and dialogue. Russia is our biggest neighbour. Russia is there to stay. Uh, NATO does, uh, does not want a new Cold War or an arms race. So therefore we need to engage in a political dialogue with Russia, but based on our uh, uh, collective defence, credible deter uh, deterrence. Mr Stoltenberg, thank you for talking to Euronews. Thank you so much.